The city of New Orleans issued a permit today to let the Hard Rock Hotel owners tear down what's left of the collapsed high rise. Eyewitness investigator David Hammer has covered this contentious process for the last six months and has this report. The 18-story Hard Rock Hotel collapsed during construction on October 12th. Three people were killed and two workers' bodies remained trapped in the debris. The city and Hard Rock owners' 1031 Canal development have been fighting in court over the best way to demolish the building. But today's court hearing started with city attorney Sonny LaBeouf announcing some good news. A conditional permit to proceed with the demolition. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I know the city is, and um, hopefully we'll have good weather. University of New Orleans engineering professor Norma Jean Mate is eager to get the building down and the workers' remains recovered. So is Mayor Latoya Cantrell, who put out a statement balancing a sense of urgency with ongoing concerns over safety and the owner's ability to pay. She said, quote, the city of New Orleans has been persistent in its demand that the property owners of 1031 Canal Street, the Kalis family, be held accountable in moving a safe demolition of their property forward at their expense. Matei says the city put reasonable conditions on the owners. It looks very reasonable. It's things that I would actually, if I were the city, want to see. You know, things like... Um, the increase in insurance because this is a risky demolition. 1031 Canal and principal owner Mohan Kalis now need $32 million in liability insurance on an $8.4 million demolition job. Demolition is a risky business. Uh, using up big cranes, risky business. So uh, I think the city's a little gun shy because um, at this point, in time, we should have people swimming in those pools. They're gun shy, but they have to pull the trigger at some point. With these bullet points um, and an amended contract, um, it seems as though they're ready to issue the permit once these items are satisfied. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Well, 1031 Canal did pay its permit fees to the city this afternoon, and based on the plans filed last week, they could have equipment at the site ready to start the demolition as soon as next week.